Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. As usual, you'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video. You'll also find contact details for Ian, our minister. Let's take a few moments to quieten our minds, our bodies and our souls as we prepare to come before God in prayer. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. We turn now to the Psalms, where today we're at Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in me, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Amen. We continue reading from Matthew's Gospel. Today we're at chapter 15, reading from verses 29 to 39. Jesus left there and went along the Sea of Galilee. Then he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled made well, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people, they have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. His disciples answered, Where would we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. 
he told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Afterwards, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 4,000, besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of Magadan. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We'll use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence, where we can lift before God those prayers, peoples, things that are on our hearts. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times, and most difficult of situations. You are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We now pray in silence. We continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look upon mercy upon our broken world, O oh God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask. And do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wooden nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye for now and stay safe.